last thing on the financial side that we just want to highlight quickly is the report writer window from the ledger. So being able to quickly and easily write your own custom reports is critical. So we have uh, this tool that has a report wizard for someone that understands the ledger and the accounts. They can quickly create balance sheets, income statements. I'm just going to give this a quick name. Call it Nick Bal for my report name. It's a financial report. I can create it from uh, either the financial or the reporting period. And site IDs, so I can do it by site. I have a multi-site database, so I'm choosing all, but if I didn't want to, if I wanted to just do it per site, I can create a balance sheet by site by checking the checkbox in my dropdown. So here I'm gonna choose what I'm doing, either an income statement or a balance sheet. I'm gonna do a quick balance sheet. And then I can do a current versus budget comparative or current versus last year. I'm gonna do versus last year. I don't have a budget set up in my system. And here I'm just gonna, I know the account numbers and most accountants know their account numbers, but you could select it from the list if you wanted to search for it. But I'm gonna say I wanna uh, go grab my 10,000 account, my total assets, and I'm gonna go two levels deep on those total assets to my uh, posting level accounts. And over on my liability and equity side, I'm gonna grab account 12,000, uh, one level deep on that, and 13,000. So I'm grabbing my total liabilities and my total equity. Let me make sure I go one level deep there also, so I don't forget. And next, I can create groups if I had a, a bigger report. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I'll just leave it blank, just to show how easy it is just to put something together quickly. And we're gonna, ready to generate our report, yes. I can now modify this report here just by adding more accounts or, or rows or changing it and, and uh, editing what I have here. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I'm gonna save that and then I'm just gonna go to my print report. And I should see it in my list here now. Here it is, the Nick test. And since I'm in my demo database so we could see some data show up in here, I'm just gonna use an old uh, period from my uh, demo database. I'm gonna go to 4111. And I can also choose when I'm doing it here whether or not I want to suppress zeros or show detailed transactions with it. I'll just leave it the way it is. I can also put an additional report heading on it if I was gonna print this and to send this to somebody if I wanted a, a more descriptive heading. I'm just going to hit my preview and there's a quick balance report with my total assets up top and since I went uh, two levels deep it went down into my posting level accounts and then uh, and my liabilities at the bottom and equity did the same going uh, one level deep. But that's how quick and easy it is to create an income statement using the GL Report Writer tool with the Report Writer Wizard.